Hello, everybody. This is Dream Gamer back for round four of Group E. This could be a very important round for this group, given how tight it is between the top five. Oh, and Jeremy Blue Scott as well. <laughs> Who's still in it? Who's still in it, I should point out. But yes, might not be in it for long, though, because they are up first, taking on table top in Dino Smash. Then we will have Xeno Slick Goku going up against Alpha Trooper again, another important game. And finally, we have Shin Dominus against Slifer Sky Dragon. So, yep, yeah, let's get on with our first matchup, which, if, if Dino Smash can get a win, that will put them through to the last 32. Well, it might put them through. We'll just find out when we conclude, when we finish the video. But, yep, yeah, up first, it's Jeremy Blue Scott against Dino Smash. Okay, you may be wondering why, <laughs> why I'm on this screen right now. And, uh, yeah, I... I do have a confession to make, so while looking back at the recording of the first match between Jeremy Blue Scott and Dino Smash, I did make quite a big blunder, and that blunder was not giving the car car a crit when it should have had a crit. Instead, I gave Jeremy the uh, Mayfly, so... And I'm on here to make sure to see if the Eustreptor Spondylist would have survived the Fire Cannon, because if it couldn't, if it did, wouldn't have survived, then that changes everything, because then the Gatlin Spark would have hit the Atrox instead of Eustrepto, and then the Serato probably would have been hit by a Gatlin Spark as well. And that, again, would have changed the outcome of the match in Dino Smash's favour, so... I am going to say, should the Car Car kill the Eustreptor with a Fire Cannon then I am going to do the match again. Because, again, a mistake like that completely changes the outcome of the match. And that is unfair and such. So, yeah. Actually, now that I think about it, I don't even need to include the, ma the, the actual match itself. I'll just put in the clip. I'll just put in the clip real quickly where I did the blunder and that. So, as you can see there, I went paper instead of scissors like I should have. And this car car is counter-type and you strep the spondylist did get the hit before, so... That fire cannon would have done a lot of damage, so I'm just going to replay the match. In the, pretty much the exact same situation it was. So yeah, you strip the spawner, gets the pit. And now here is where the car car should have got the fire cannon, so... We'll see if the car car would have killed you strip though. Like, I'm thinking it would have. Like, if it could survive this and a tie, then that doesn't change anything. Okay, yeah, it, okay, yeah, that's, that changes everything. Because I can see here, we would have a tie which would have triggered the Gatlin Spark, and yeah. Yeah, that would have changed everything, okay. So yeah, I'm, I am actually going to redo that match. Like, I'm only talking about it now because I mentioned Jeremy Blue Scott getting a win in the, like, of that match in the um, other two matches. Otherwise, I wouldn't bring this up at all and I'd just do the match again off screen. So yeah. Jeremy Blue Scott versus Dino Smash is gonna is gonna happen again. <laughs> so yeah, again, is is a blunder on my part, a blunder that I don't usually make, but this blunder was particularly bad because it did change the outcome of the match, as you saw there. So yeah, I am going to redo the match between Jeremy Blue Scott and Dino Smash, and then after that match, we will look at the table and end the session. Right, the end. Um, take two. In the red corner for Jeremy Blue Scott is his Strepta Spondylus. <laughs> yeah, you, usually I don't, like, redo matches. But, like, this is the first time I've had to redo a match because of an error. Be purely because that error completely changed the outcome of the match. Like, if Dino Smash had won the other match, then I would have just let it go. Because, again, Dino Smash would have won anyway, so... But it's the fact that he didn't win. When he realistically should have. But that was an, it was an intriguing match, that last match. Because Dino Smash, I think, only, didn't get many hits off. But when he did get hits off, they were crept. So they did a crap ton of damage. But yeah. On to the rematch. The, what, this match that, actual, that actually counts. And let's hope for no mistakes again. Ooh, Jeremy Blue Scott getting the first hit, though. And a crit block incoming as well. Boosh. Um, yeah, would you like me to post the original match on YouTube? Just just so you can see. 
just so you could see it. Oh, interesting. So, you stripped Obi Go for a crit, and the Kaka will be getting hit for the crit. This is a good start from Jeremy Blue Scott so far. Does have the tight disadvantage against this Kaka, so he needs to kill it quick. Well, this Kaka can't get any hits on the board. Till now. Boosh. Finally, the Kakirodontosaurus gets a hit. Ooh, it's a firebomb. Has Dino Smash stolen this match's momentum? Yum. Boom. You strapped the Spondylith left in a heap and is almost dead. And now is dead. The Kakirodontosaurus, unsurprisingly, giving Dino Smash a 1-0 lead. But to Dino Smash it to Jeremy's credit, did take its health down to the red, so this Aloatrox doesn't have too much work to do to finish it off. But it would be ideal for it to get the next hit to make sure it does finish it off. A big fire cannon could be devastating for Jeremy here. And as I said, it is win or bust for Jeremy Blue Scott. Oh, it's a tie! That might come in handy though. Whoa, relief for Jeremy there. The Kakirodontosaurus finally going down. Jeremy Blue Scott even in the score. Could be a crucial tornado toss that could be. And yep, no surprise there. The Kaka's going down, down. Okay then. As for... Dino Smash's second Dino is a Pentaceratops as well. Based on the other match between these two, that Gatlin Spark does an arse ton of damage. I don't know why I said it like that, but you know, holding the bit. Ooh, elemental power coming in here. Pentaceratops getting the first hit. On a very patriotic Allosaurus, Atrox. Ooh, here comes Tornado Toss. Can Jeremy Blue Scott actually do it? Can they get their first win of the tournament to keep their hopes alive? A win for Dino Smash will take... Well, put it this way, I'm recording this after the other two matches. So, yes, a win for Dino Smash will put them through. Well, here comes another hit from Dino Smash. Pentaceratops looking mightily impressive. Oh no! The Atrox is done! Okay, yeah, I think it's not looking good for Jeremy. But they do have the Super Saratosaurus to come. The Awaker mode could be vital for Jeremy to get a win on this in this tournament. Sifokyui! Well, got to get past this Pentaceratops first, isn't it? Oh, yeah, I think that's going to be it for Jeremy. They just can't get any hits on this Penta, but... Maybe, maybe they can get one with the Awaken mode. You know what? I, I hope this is a six. So come on. God, I hope he gets a hit here. Oh, no. <laughs> he didn't get the hit. Well, there's a losing bonus point for... Uh, what the, who's this? Dino Smash. But let's be honest. I don't think they're going to lose at this point. Ooh, I tell you what, though. Jeremy Blue Scott showing some defiance. Because he needed that when using the weaker mode. Decent damage. Cy Cyclone as well. Maybe, just maybe, Dino Smash will be denied the bonus point win. Oh. Okay, maybe Penta might... Okay, yeah, Penta... <laughs> Probably tank another one of those, to be honest. 
Oh, there's a tie. Oh, Dino Smash! Denied the bonus point win. But let's be honest. Well, actually, not necessarily. Can Jeremy Blue Scott snatch this? This Eucharaptor does have the Dino Illusion. At least I think it does. Uh, yeah. Oh, no, it doesn't. It doesn't have Dino Illusion. It's on. It's on for Jeremy. Can they do it? I think three hits at the... Well, two crits or three hits can do it. Can they do it? Oh, they got the crit! A Cyclone here! And Jeremy Blue Scott could be right in this match! Wow, this match is much better than the other one. I'm glad I screwed up. Oh, it's a Cyclone! Well, wow. can Jeremy Blue Scott do it? They've secured a losing bonus point, but that's not enough for them. They need to win. Oh, it's a tie! But the Cyclone is going to let him attack. Come on, Jeremy, you can do it. Well, wow, look at this. Come on, Jeremy, you can do it. Oh, no, it's a tie! Oh, no. oh an agonizing defeat for Jeremy Blue Scott. Dino Smash just, just gets the win. Well, oh man, I feel so bad for Jeremy now, like, almost had it, almost snatched the win, but just ran out of steam. As I said, if he got that biting wind off in awaken mode, that could have changed everything. That could have won it for him, but nope, agonizing defeat, and that is it for Jeremy Blue Scott. They will not be getting out the group stage, and it will be group stage elimination. You can't say they haven't put up a fight. They have put up a hell of a fight. But unfortunately, just coming up short. Right, that is that is actually it. Now, now I will actually update the table and I will actually end the session. Well, not yet because I this match will be before the other two matches when I edit the video. So enjoy match numbers two and three. Alrighty then, in the red corner for Xenoslick Goku, it's, well, you guessed it, a Pentaceratops. Wow, <laughs> I'm going to be sick of the sight of this thing when I finish my tournament. Pentaceratops, well, not much to say about it, to be honest, you know, can't say anything that hasn't been said already. Okay, in the blue corner for Alpha Trooper, it's, well, an Alpha Iguanodon. Well, this, this, is, mass this is a massive game here. A win for Alpha Trooper. We'll see them safely through to the last 32 round. I believe. A win for Xeno Slick Goku. We'll put them right in the mix to Finley. And give them a strong grip on the top three. So yeah, plenty to play for here for these two. And I should point out that Xeno does have to play Jeremy Blue Scott in the last round. So that could be a big game as well. Well, it's Pentaceratops getting the first hit. Decent damage done there, but this Alpha Iguanodon is not to be trifled with. Oh, oh, there's a hit from the Iguana. Not much damage dealt, though. Ooh, but the Panther strikes back. Light recovery incoming. Xeno Slick Goku extending his lead. Gatlin Spark's been triggered. Well, that's Tartar to Alpha Iguanodon. And it's a 1 0 lead for Xeno. Okay, then, as for Alpha Trooper's second, I know is a Baryonyx. A Super Baryonyx. Alpha Trooper could be in a little bit of a pickle here, especially if he gets hit by that Gatlin Spark, because the Pentaceratops does have the type advantage. Uh, let's just okay, Awaken Mode on 2, which I suspect we are going to see. Unless the Barry dies in 2 hits, which I don't think it will. Nope. Pentaceratops, though, does get another hit. Oh, Gatlin Spark might actually kill it, now that I'm looking at it. 
Oh, well, well it's not going for it. But it does get off another hit. Alpha Trooper in a bit of trouble here. Can this Awaken Mode save him and get him back in this match? Oh, now he goes for the Gatlin Spark. Oh, but he's not getting it! How big could this be from Alpha Trooper? Big damage coming Penta Ceratops' way. Oh. Well, there's a decent amount of damage, but yeah, type advantage and such. The Penta Ceratops still stands. Oh, another type. Oh, another tie. Is the Barry done? Yep, the Barry's gone. And Zeno has a 2-0 lead. Wouldn't count Alpha Trooper out yet, though, because they do have a Megalosaurus, and we haven't seen too much of this guy, to be honest. It's kind of just been there as a finisher. But it's going to have to pull its weight in this matchup if Alpha Trooper wants to get a win. Oh, it's a bit... Ew, it's so nervy, this group. You know, one bad result could change everything. Oh, it's a tie! Pentaceratops finally going down. Alpha Trooper avoiding the wrath of the Gatlin Spark, but this Pentaceratops did do a lot of damage. Right, as for Zeno's second dino, is a Karanosaurus. Can this Karanosaurus finish the job for Zeno and get him the bonus point win? Or will it just be easy pickings for Megalosaurus? Actually, this reminds me, I do I do need to do the uh, Primal Carnage job. Because I haven't done it yet. Oh, that's a tie. Tie favours Zeno, though. However, that will favour Alpha Trooper. Finally getting a hit on the board. And it's a critical one. Attack boost will definitely help as well. Ooh, secret moves getting triggered now. Can Alpha turn this around? Oh! The Megalosaurus got another hit on the board. Karanosaurus gone. An attack boost maxed up as well. Alpha Trooper fighting back. Okay, as for Zeno's third dino, it's the attack powerhouse itself, the Sorofaganax. Well, Zeno again might be getting a bit nervous here, because Alpha Trooper is pulling it back, and does have the Megalosaurus with the maxed up attack boost. So I suspect maybe two hits from Megalosaurus might actually be enough for the win. Oh, there's one! Okay, maybe not. I overestimated Megalosaurus' strength. Oh, it's a tie. I'm gonna sneeze. Oh, the Sorofaganax! Is that Xeno over the line? I think with the secret moves, the Megalosaurus might survive this. Oh, no, maybe not. Oh, balls, I was going to bloody check the thing now to see... I forgot to check the thing to see if Alpha Trooper got a losing bonus point. Well, I'll, I'll double check it before I uh, go through the table, and so don't worry. Right, now on to our final match of this session. Actually, no, no, yeah, we'll talk about... We've got to talk about the game, and we've got to talk about the, the match we just watched. So, yes, a great win there from Xeno Slick Goku. Alpha Trooper may have got himself a losing bonus point, but I'll just have to double check to be sure. But yeah, Xeno Slick Goku getting a tight grip on Group E. But now, now then, another big game now coming up between Shin Dominus and Slifer Sky Dragon X. Well, another big game in this group here. In the red corner for Shin Dominus, it is Tashongasaurus. Shin Dominus, after a, after a disappointing start, has really looked good in this tournament so far. Getting two back-to-back -back wins on the board. Can they get another one? A win for either of these two will put them top of Group E. Well, Slifer needs a bonus point win, but a win for Shin Dominus will put them top. And I think that will put them through as well. 
Right, as for Slifer Sky Dragon X in the blue corner, it is a Centrosaurus, a Super U Centrosaurus. Might need the Awaken mode here if it wants to get past this Tajongosaurus first. Yeah, I feel like Shin Dominus is going to win this match. But you never know, we'll just have to see. Well, with a start like that, I think Shin Dominus is going to win. Boosh! Shlippy slap slap. Shlippy shlippy slap slap. Boosh! Dazed and defeated, you Centrosaurus. Look at all that damage done already. Although, although, you Centrosaurus gets a hit. Cursed twice. The Awaken mode is on four, by the way. Hopefully we'll see it. <laughs> Doesn't look like we're going to... Ooh, or maybe we are. Counter Blitz being triggered. And that's three times. So yeah, unless it's a tie, we are going to see the Awaken mode. Well, it's a Counter Blitz. That crit would have killed you Centrosaurus. But Counter Blitz came in and said no. And it's Awake Wake time. Elemental Fusion! Oh, he didn't get the hit, though! Oh, how costly could that be? Oh, oh, it survived! What the hell? <laughs> I wasn't expecting it to survive. Well, again, unless there's a tie, we're going to see another counter blitz. Oh, I didn't need it! You Centrosaurus gets the hit anyway. Ooh, an electric charge as well. I mean, that's not really going to matter in terms of survival, but it could take out the Tijonosaurus should you Centrosaurus get the hit. And it doesn't. It's a tie. You Centrosaurus so fared pretty well against the Tijonosaurus. The counter blitz definitely helped. Okay, as for Slifer's second dino, the dino that will probably need to do the most work here, is Gygus with a spectral armor. It's been a very difficult tournament for Slifer Sky Dragon X. You know, they did pretty well last time out. Getting a top 8 finish, but... You know, it's been difficult. No, cut free. Ooh, it's a tie. Oh, the Tajogosaurus survived. Oh, well, it's definitely not surviving that. Gygus evening things up. Ah, and poison in it, because, you know, nee, it needed to. But here comes the powerhouse from Shin Dominus. It's a full tilt Sir of And this thing can do some damage, as we have seen in previous matches. This could be interesting. If the Gygus can kill the Sorophagonax, then Slifer Sky Dragon X would be in a pretty good position because they could have the Spectral Armor on as well for when Brontokins comes in. Ooh, but it's the Faganax getting the first hit. Oh, no. Yeah, no. <laughs> well, um, Gygus is dead. All that hope and expectation of killing the Faganax with Gygus lasted all but two seconds. Yeah, there it is. All of a sudden, Shin Dominus in a commanding position to win. Well, it's all on Paris now. Regular Paris. Can Slifer Sky Dragon X get back in this match? Or is it going to be, be three defeats out of four? Well, three defeats out of four will put him in a perilous situation here. Although, I said, as I said, that result in the first match feels like a game changer. Well, if Dino Smash had won, the, won in that first match, then they'd already be through. But now they are catchable. Oh my god, yeah. I, th I think Shin Dominus is going to rack up another double I, I said it at the start, didn't I? I said Shin Dominus could be one of the new boys to watch. And it turns out that I'm right. Well, there's a losing bonus point guaranteed. And there's the win guaranteed. Sorrow Faganax cleaning house. Getting the W. The bonus point W. 
for Shin Dominus. That's quite an underwhelming finish, to be honest. You know, because it's quite back and forth. But yeah, Shin Dominus, cleaning house. Right, now it's time to look at the table and then we can end the session. Well, that's Dino Smash and Shin Dominus safely through to the last 32. And yes, Dino Smash is above Shin Dominus by virtue of the fact that Dino Smash beat Shin Dominus in the first round. Xeno Slick Goku in third place on nine points there. Hasn't secured their place yet. Well, they're four points clear of Slifer, so, you know. And I think they did beat Slifer, so, yeah. It, Xeno is about 90% through. But, uh, under pressure from Alpha Trooper and Slifer Sky Dragon X. And poor old Jeremy Blue Scott. Didn't happen for him. Is eliminated. Uh, yeah, yeah, it's a, yeah, it's official. Because <laughs> the most he can get is the 3-0 win. He'll go to 7, but Al Alpha Troop will still be above him because Alpha Troop will win their matchup. So yeah, Jeremy Blue Scott eliminated, but Slifer Sky Dragon X in a heap of trouble here. Only one win so far in this tournament. But they still have a good chance to get out this group. And in fact, they could probably... Can they? No, they lost to Zeno, didn't they? But if they get a 3-0 win and Zeno gets defeated, they can get out of the group in third place. So, you know, it's still on for Slifer, but big, big, big mountain to climb. Right. Let's have a look at the final round matches for Group E. Ooh, it's going to be Slifer Sky Dragon X against Dino Smash first. Then it will be Zeno Slick Goku going up against Jeremy Blue Scott. And then a massive game between Shin Dominus and Alpha Trooper. So, yeah. Still all to play for. Third place still up for grabs. So, yep. Yeah, hope you enjoyed. If you did, please leave a like and subscribe. Ding the bell to make sure you don't miss out on future tournament videos. And until then, this is Stranger Gamer, signing out.